Hello, it's Sarah. So I'm back to do the details, but before I do that, I forgot to put her cheeks on. So I'm just real quick gonna get some of this pink. I think I'm gonna use the darker pink and see. I think that's what I used on the last time. And just lightly uh, float some color in kind of like a, a U over here. I don't know how I did it on the other one. Let's see what that does. Uh, it looks okay. I mean, there's so many ways that you can do cheeks. Um, so I'm just doing it like up under her eye like that. And then it looks like kind of like she's smiling and her cheeks are, I mean, they're uneven as could be, but you know. All right, we're getting to the end, so I'm not going to stress. Um, we're going to do detail. So I'm getting my liner brush. And here's when the old word inky consistency comes in. I have some, I'm going to put her aside. Well, all the details on her are her face. You know what? Um, let's go ahead and base some eyes in because since we have to let that dry, I'm just getting some white and uh, going to base this whole little circle here because we need to have the white of her eyes. That one's much bigger. So just trying to even them, even them out. And then we're going to put, oh, I did stipple the, the center of this flower too. It's just like a dry brush technique. Um, these eyes I wanted to have, he's kind of looking forward. So he's looking, and I'm freehand in these. Um, you can trace yours on. And this guy's looking forward over this way. So I just want to base those because that has to get filled in. Meanwhile, we're going to go do some lines on our flower here. Going to get some gray and really kind of get it watered down like we did. I think I did talk about this to do something. What did we do? We made some, must have done some line work, but that's like the consistency of ink. And then you're just going to, just like a pen, you're just going to pull some lines. And if you get it on the brown, don't sweat it. I mean, you can use a Q-tip or... Um, just leave it because uh, I think we're going to put little dots around the edges anyway and it'll all look fine. So if your paint is nice and thin, you, you should be able to just pull those strokes real quick and easy like that. Um, the other thing we're going to do is I just want to put the vein on this, uh, the leaves of the flower. I'm just going to pull the vein to kind of define that, so I just wanted to pull that. That was not as inky as it should have been. My puddle is really thick, actually, because you can tell because it doesn't slip. It doesn't slick across there. It kind of sticks, so you want it to be, oops, I'm running over. I can't say. I'm not over the piece. I'm like so far away from it. <laughs> it's weird, and that's my excuse. All right, so I just wanted to define that it kind of looks a little better like that. Um, what other lines do I need? Oh, the black on our bees. Okay, so make a puddle of black and put water on your brush and kind of brush mix the water in there and get this not too thin though because I'll show you why. Even with a uh, boy, just stick your hand in paint. Um, even with your liner, you can make a, a widish stroke. So I can be up on the tip of my brush and really come down and make a thin stroke. Or if you push it down, you can get a wide stroke. So right now we're going to paint his little stripes on the bees. And the other ones I did, I kind of made them thick to thin. So it looks makes it look like he's round. So I'll show you how I did that. I load my brush and you start kind of at the top of the bee. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to flatten that out a little bit. And then, and I'm going to fix it. You push down and then kind of pick up at the bottom and swivel it towards the front. So I'm going to push down and pick up towards the bottom. Of course, push down and pick up. Push down and pick up. I guess four is pretty good. And I think I gave him a little uh, stinger. Just a little, I don't know, that looks awful. It's just too stumpy. I don't like it. I don't want them to have a stumpy, bumpy, rumpy. 
So I'm going to get rid of it and go into some thinner paint. And I'm going to put his antenna on real quick. And I'm freehanding this and I'm just going to touch it down and touch it down. And we'll make dip dots at the tips of them at the end. But you can fix these uh, at the top. You can make it a little more square. And that kind of gives that definition again, uh, or not definition, the illusion of the roundness of it when you, it's kind of square at the top, like it's coming around his body almost. Now let me go back and try to put this, just set it down and boop, a little triangle. That looks cute. <laughs> All right, so he's kind of coming to life now. And now this one, it's kind of facing forward, so you don't need to, uh, be as, I think I would just be thin, thick, thin is kind of thin, thick, thin is more how it's going to make him look round, I think. So just tip, push, tip, tip, push, tip, something like that. But he needs a sting or two, so we're going to just do a little bit wide and then pull. And he's got a little stinger. And I think his antennas go, one goes one way and one goes the other. So I'm just going to put it down and down. And then this one comes over here and down. And I think I put dip dots at the end of uh, those on the other one. So they're kind of coming to life. I'm going to put a little more white on their eyes just to make them darker. Because we're going to put the color over that in a minute. All that's really left um, on this guy is the face, too, actually. Am I going to put a face? We don't need a face. It's just too much to do. I'm going to come back to my mermaid and get her uh, eyes definitely white. And I put way too much paint. Oh, I know. There were these little bumps that I put on the starfish, which I'm just going to use the light brown, and I'm going to float them on, actually. And then this could be done too. And just like make little C's. Just little like, they're not coming out as nice as they did on my first one. Which is what happens a lot. But just, I don't know why, I just thought, I don't know, I think they're bumpy. Starfish. It just gives it a little something extra. And we're, I'm going to put, I love this color stickles, I just got this. It's called Tropical Tangerine. It's so pretty. So I'm going to put that over them anyway. Um, so for our girl, the only other, you know, you could do um, a couple little scale swirly things. Like, I did them in stickles, but you could just do like, how about, which way should they go? This way. Boop, 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 boop. Like just little boop boops, I guess they're called. And another one, another row of them. They're just little, you know, details to make it, um, finish it up. And I did put a couple, um, which way should these be going? Down or up? I guess down, like this. Boop, 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 boop. Kirby, give me that. Give me it, quick, quick. If you don't give me it, I can't throw it. Boop. Boop, boop, and that's it. So I just did that, and what else did I do? Then I put, I just put stickles for the accents. So on her face, I'm gonna have to let that dry. I have to let her little um, eyes dry a little better. Let's finish our, I think I gave my bees blue eyes. Of course, I don't have any blue out. We could give them green eyes, but I think I'm gonna give them blue. I'm putting blue down here. And you take a little blue, and you cover, like he's looking this way. I don't think they're dry. I'll be right back. Kirby wants to play. Oh, gosh. Anyway, so I'm going to do both of their eyes blue this time just because I have it out. Oh, my God, dog. I can't. There you go. I had to throw her a thing. And this time I'm putting... See how his eyes are like pointing forward and his are looking for forward. Oh, that's a very good description, Tara. So I'm just putting blue halfway up the white. And this one to the towards the front and towards the front. And for our girl, I put them, I put it right in the middle. 
and kind of um, I'm using blue more towards the top so you put it towards the top and leave the white on the bottom it kind of makes it look like her eyelid we're gonna make an eyelid in a minute and you'll see um, and we can just put the little eyelid on in a second just give it one second um, what else was I gonna say I think black for the faces and oh the dip dots the dip dots that's what I wanted to say for, I'm going to leave them off for a minute though because around this center I put all those dip dots and if you do them before you do other things you're going to stick your hand in them guaranteed so I just always really uh, try to wait to the very end to do your dip dots um, but I'll show you those in a second you just take your stylus and stick it in a puddle of paint and pretty much that's a dip dot um, for him I'm going to do a little black right in the front right in the front and a little smile right in the front and him, his smile is going to be kind of like that. And his eyes are kind of pointing that way. So he's got a face. They're weird looking faces. Let's come over here. And it's because my paint, like, oh, geez, my husband just got home. And we're going to do her eyelid. So this is kind of cool because you're going to take and go thin, thick, thin. It's supposed to anyway. I made it way too long. Oh my gosh, Sarah. And then thin, thick, thin. Put a little nose. And I think I did her mouth in... No, I did do it in black. Just a black little line. And then her eyebrows. Now, you never want to do eyebrows this way because she'll look evil. You got to do your eyebrows this way. Like that. And then her eye pupil, her pupil, I'm just going to put it to the right a little bit, kind of coming down like that. And then we'll put a little white um, highlight. Did I really mess this one up? Sort of, kind of. I could probably fix it with flesh color. I bet you I could because I'm tricky like that. If you take a little bit... I didn't fix it. I'm making. I'm just taking more time. That's what I'm doing. But it it will it'll fix. I can fix it. All right. And then the little tiny um, dot of white that just makes them come to life. Usually you put that like opposite. A lot of there's rules like you could put it opposite or whatever. I just like to put it. And hopefully you don't. You try to make it as small as you can so that it doesn't like block out what you've already done but it is it is it does make them come to life you just kind of kind of keep it really small so you know they're little bees you know what are you gonna do so for dip dots you take the stylus and you just the puddle has to be kind of fresh a freshish puddle where is it here it is and so you want to go in like I'm gonna go into this dark brown right here and it's a little, it's got a little bit of a film on it. And you just go boop, 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 boop. And the sound effects help. <laughs> and I'm just alternating, go in, out, in, out, up, down, up, down, kind of up, down, up, down. Big, little, big, little, all the way around. And I think I did that with uh, dark brown, light brown, yellow, and white. I just kind of went all around there a couple times with different colors. I have some yellow, so I'll... Do some yellow real quick. Boop, 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 boop. And it just gives it that little finishing touch. Um, and you don't look at all your little mistakes that are probably annoying you. Uh, because they always used to annoy me every class you take. But when you get it home, that, that, that's what they always used to say. The, the magic fairy comes while you're in the car and they do something to it. Because when you take it out after you get home, it looks amazing. Um, because, you know, you're so critical of yourself when you first do it. So that's basically it. I think I did put a few little eyelashes on her too. 
Um, because you know, it's your piece. You can play with it and do whatever you want, and maybe you're an expert face maker. Um, I am certainly not an expert face maker, but I can just put a few little eyelashes and that was way too thick, see? And that's how you screw it up. Those eyelashes look cute. So there she is, and there they are. Um, I would take my little stickles here, and on this one, I kind of just did it lightly in the center almost and just spread it around a little bit. I didn't fully cover it. I just did a thin layer just to kind of get a little accent on there. You can even use your finger. I think that's good. And I'm just putting a little bit on this one in her hair too. Because everything's better with glitter. Definitely. You know what I mean? Okay. And then I think I put on the bees, it was just either diamond stickles or whatever. I'm running out of it. This is icicle. Um, and I did it in like a kind of a veiny pattern so that, oh, that's coming out thick. That's way too thick. It'll never dry. I think I just put it on there and kind of pull my, this has got, I must have snipped the tip of this before. But that's what I did. I just did it in a veiny pattern. I think I'm going to pull that off. I don't like it. It's way too thick. And see what else I have. Because I have a couple. What is this distress stickles? What does that do? I don't really know. Actually, that looks fine. Kirby's freaking out. She has a toy. So that's good. I'm just going to spread it around a little. Spread it around. He's a bee. What the heck? It looks cool. The other one actually looked really cool, though, because it did look like little veins, like when you took it away. I want to see what this does. I don't know. I've never used it. Ooh, that's like... I don't know what it is. It doesn't look like it has any glitter in it. So what's the point? What's the point? What's it called? Distress Series Clear Rock Candy. So what does that mean, clear? It's just like... Oh, I see glitter. I don't know. We shall see. I think I'm stealing some glitter from this one because I just put so much on there. I'll just rub it on here as a clear coat. Because stickles, as you probably know, if you put it on too thick, it just never dries. Stop, Kerbo. And I'm just going to put it on here and it will dry. I don't know what that clear rock candy. I should do a little um, experimental sample piece. Here, go get it. Crazy dog. But I love her. All right, that's it. Let's call it done. Nine minutes. I hope you enjoyed this. Please leave any questions that you have um, or, or even... Um, what would it be called? Critiques. Let me know what I could have done better or what you needed to see more of, okay? All right, guys, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching.